and welcome to Hatup exam learning resources in this session we are going to discuss regarding CCA 159 big data analytics certification Hadoop exam is providing 73 solved scenarios for this exam currently and you can use uh, this uh, 73 problem scenarios and you can do your own hands-on with the cloud era uh, quick VM so what we are going to do here we will be providing few of the videos out of 73 problems so you can understand how to execute each problem step by step using the simulator as well as the uh, Cloudera Quick VM. So I have already installed Cloudera Quick VM on my machine and this is available. Uh, we have already provided the instruction how to install this uh, Cloudera Quick VM. So currently we have installed 5.7.0 version. In the exam you can be provided with the different version of the Hadoop framework uh, which is right now 5.8 which is very close to this simulator. So all the problems you can run on 5.7 can also be executed on 5.8 so this is our simulator which we are providing and here you can see we are providing in total 73 problems so this is the problem statement this is this is solution step by step would be provided and this is the data content which you can copy from the simulator wherever it is needed correct so this section we are not going to provide as if you cannot copy and paste for content from this section as you have to do uh, your own to type this command and everything so in the real exam it would be a uh, very helpful so this is the intentional we are not providing uh, here capability to copy paste from this sections so you have to type this command so you remember for your real exam similarly this is the data content or something which is you should not type correct uh, that is uh, uh, right not required to type in is given here and you you can use the sections to uh, copy the required things and at last this all the videos which we are creating would be provided on this URL cca159cloudera.trainingforexam.com so you can go here uh, this is cca159 so this is whole video sections would be uh, provided here and you will be given access when you subscribe the training so let's start our first problem statement of uh, what it is saying and then we will actually execute and do the hands-on okay so you have been given mysql retail db data in the Cloudera Quick VM. Please import all the tables in the Hadoop exam DB using the scope command. Okay, we are going to uh, like from RDBMS to the uh, Hadoop exam DB one database would be created and we would be importing this da data from MySQL DB to the uh, HDFS file system. So this would be like uh, one of the activity. This is part of the uh, syllabus of CCA 159 this is like ETL work you are going to do this this is first section of the syllabus which is Cloudera is asking so this is the syllabus actually which is being uh, part of the uh, exam so like use extract transfer and using the scope kind of thing so this is the sections where we are going to so let's start the solutions drop all the tables high impala if you have already created so in my case i have already created the this database so now open the uh, cloud rack quick vm which is installed here and what it says open the terminal and type impala shell just open the terminal from here type the impala shell so you would be uh, you going to the impala so most of the time we would be using impala because this is cloud era's uh, developed technology so they would focus more on the impala rather than hive so i would suggest you also learn the impala in depth so for this exam uh, and because the things which is help like already work with the hive can also support it with the impala a uh, few exceptions are there but most of the things is good enough for if you know the impala in depth for the certification exam so what they are saying i have already copy pasted this command over here so it ca i can save the time for this uh, video so we don't need the uh, full uh, time so let's go to this and use the default database here so if you see here if you type show databases so it will show you all the databases available in hive so we have already did this database so use command will help us to go into this database use default so in my case Hadoop exam DB is already created so what I wanted I wanted it to be a uh, drop this database first so let's do this drop database 
Hadoop exam DB and cascade command. So what it does is cascade command. If you don't put the cascade command, it will give you the error like tables are already there in this uh, database. So you cannot delete it. So that's the reason we need to cascade it. So cascade with help the drop all the entire tables in this database okay if already exists and then it will drop the database now type the show databases and it should not list the Hadoop exam DB database now what is the next activity is create database using this command so we'll be creating this database again so now see the show databases so Hadoop exam DB is already created now uh, check this path is already created or not so just you can open the like a uh, new UI okay so this is the UI okay this is click on the hue okay so it would be little slower uh, because this is on my laptop so wait for a moment okay now go to the file browser don't worry here about this error now this is open and what it is saying you should be seeing this user hive warehouse directory so user go inside this hive and this is the warehouse directory and you should be able to see the Hadoop exam dot DB database would be created so this is empty database has been created here now we will be using this command to import all the tables okay so this is the scope command which import all the tables from the retail DB MySQL database okay so if you see so this is the retail DB database a uh, username of retail DB database is retail DBA password is Claudia and where you want to import in this directory we want to import the all the data and hyphen hyphen m1 how many number of mappers we wanted to use so only one mappers okay so this come uh, if you want to learn more on the uh, scope then go to the our Hadoop uh, training actually we provide okay so just go here click here how to big data training so in detail so you can subscribe this training and you can see like we have covered the entire syllabus of the Hadoop training just minute it the page is being loaded okay so yeah this is loaded so this just let me search scope here you can see like the here we have given the scope training this is all new modules have been added so you can learn how to use the scope and kind of thing here okay so now let's move here back to the search over this and just log open another terminal and just log into mysql database and show tables so these are the all tables which is available in this uh, database okay so this is the way you can log in in the mysql database mysql username password and the database name okay so now just fire this query or uh, this command and this will import all the tables from your uh, rdbms to the uh, hdfs okay so just paste this command here sorry not on my this terminal this is in the open another terminal and uh, this is just paste this scope command and enter this will take long time okay so wait for this because this will create each table one by one and if you're running on the laptop that should definitely be slower because we are given already one mappers so wait wait for this task to be finished and uh, we'll join again now you can see it is still running and orders tables is being imported so various table is already being imported and it is in process of importing orders tables so now once like this is done and uh, then we'll move ahead with this so let this process being run in the background and let move ahead what we are going to do this then we will check whether data has been imported or not once data is imported we will invalidate metadata so in impala to reflect this like uh, however it is not useful here this is like just to 
refresh the impala statement then we create the external table okay so what we want to do is like we want to create a table named a uh, same he categories uh, which is pointing to the categories data which we have imported in this directory okay and the table column structure would remain same so accordingly data type would be created here similarly and we will check data has been loaded or not in this table similarly for each team cor corresponding mysql table will be creating the uh, external table in the hive okay so if you want to learn more what is hive external table and kind of thing so you can go through our training or uh, hadoop exam full length training or we are soon going to launch full length uh, hive training which you can go through this in detail after this so if you are in hurry please let us know if you need this training hive training okay uh, then uh, this would be all tables we will be creating one by one so let it get finished okay the process is finished now let's go to the impala shell back and do this activity invalidate metadata which will just refresh the data okay so go here and paste this command invalidate metadata then I uh, will be creating the external table in uh, in this database Hadoop exam DB paste this and create this external table okay table already exist he category oh sorry we are using a default schema okay so this is not correct we should use this schema Hadoop exam DB which we have created so just use Hadoop exam DB the semicolon is required okay so now before this first check the data has been imported here or not okay so just paste this command it will list all the directories inside Hadoop exam db hdfs dfs hyphen ls to list the directory so this is all the directories have been created corresponding correct so now let's create a uh, external table in Hadoop exam db using this statement okay go to the impala And it had created this table now check this the select statement whether data has been loaded or not sorry okay it's running the query so wait to result to be okay so first 10 record has been created similarly we will be creating another table and uh, checking the data okay so so we have created another table and check the data in this table sorry okay so now here in customer table there should be 10 records so it needs to be extracted so this is data from the customer table similarly you can create another tables uh, as we are going to use this table in our next assignment so I'll not do this activity further as uh, this is the very same for all the other tables so you can do your own this so thanks thanks for watching and uh, we'll be creating another video for CCA 159 certification so don't worry uh, about this and uh, 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 I would suggest subscribe here okay so if you subscribe here you will get regular updates whatever Hadoop exam does uh, so you'll get the updates regarding that whenever we add new questions or something or new trainings is launched or new video is added in training so this is very uh, important if you want regular updates from the Hadoop exam okay and at the same time if you're watching this video on youtube then don't forget to subscribe on youtube as well because this is another medium where you can easily get notified once we upload the video on youtube as a free subscription for few videos so this is the best way to get subscribed so thanks thanks for watching and i hope you like this sessions and uh, please don't forget to refer your friends hadoopexam.com we are dedicatedly working with the big data world and many other related technologies thanks thanks for watching